What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and today it is time for the first team matchup analysis for the Pokemon Premier League. Now my week one battle is up against the Norwich Skitty, who of course are coached by the Don Fanatic, who is one of the creators of the Pokemon Premier League. So we're starting off here with kind of a bang. Uh, he obviously has experience with this type of format, whereas I do not. And generally just from watching him battle, he knows exactly what he's doing. Furthermore, his draft is actually pretty threatening. He only has, I would say, two Pokemon on his team that are really actually frail between um, Weavile and Helios. Everyone else there can take a hit or have ways to restore their HP. Uh, just generally annoying with everyone else on his team. Of course, his team in entirety, uh, you guys can see the picture that I made there, really, really worried about the matchup as far as his Weavile goes. Now, of course, you guys have seen me use Weavile in the Lithio Battle Association in the LBA, and Weavile can be a problem if you bring the wrong Pokemon. So definitely looking at Weavile, we already know that Pokemon like Noivern are going to be a poor pick for um, Pokemon for me to bring. Uh, other Pokemon that are going to be a poor matchup here, Toxicroak definitely doesn't really have a place here. Uh, he has several resistances to, well, he has two immunities and one resistance to poison, whereas he doesn't have any, he only has one weakness to poison, with uh, that one weakness being his aromatis. And then on the other side with fighting, he actually has uh, four resistances to fighting. He does have three weaknesses to fighting, but between um, his Pokemon outspeeding Toxicroak because it's kind of middling speed, and also Sucker Punch not being that great against his team. Uh, he has several dark resistances as well, and he only has one darkness weakness with uh, Mega Slowbro, and Slowbro does not care about Sucker Punch, so it just doesn't make sense to bring Toxicroak to this matchup either. So unfortunately, Toxicroak and Noivern are going to have to sit this one out, which of course gives me eight Pokemon to, to really build a team around that would make more sense. Uh, I do like the three rather, yeah, the three Pokemon that he has weak to rock. To me, that makes Scarf Tyranitar definitely worth a look in this matchup. With the right coverage moves, Tyranitar can hit every single thing on his team for super effective damage. And kind of on the other side of the spectrum, running just a mixed Tyranitar with some special attacks, some physical attacks, maybe even Stealth Rock, uh, is worth looking at too. Tyranitar can easily hit Weavile. I can trap uh, his Mega Slowbro if it's below about 50% HP. Um, well, not really trap it. I don't know, because he can just sit and stay in and, and, and slack off. Uh, of course, I have Ice Beam for Salamence and Dodrio. Weezing wouldn't really like to take any special attacks. He doesn't really fear any physical attacks from Tyranitar, but special attacks, that's going to be another story if I decide to run Dark Pulse. And so Dark Pulse to hit the Mega Slowbro might be a better idea too. Um, I don't really want to go up against Aromatisse with Tyranitar that I'm relegated to using Iron Head, I think is the main thing to hit Aromatisse with. Uh, and Aromatisse is annoying enough that I kind of want to bring Toxicroak to deal with it. Um, so maybe. I'm not sure. I do know that Mega Law Punny, Talonflame, and Reuniclus are basically locks for this matchup. Uh, Mega Law Punny allows me to hit those Pokemon that are weak to fighting on his team while not having the downfall that uh, Toxicroak has of number one, having a below average speed and being reliant on Sucker Punch, and number two, uh, just hitting a lot harder with High Jump Kick. Now, High Jump Kick is pretty predictable, and I wouldn't be surprised if he decided to run Protect on some of his Pokemon just to kind of lull me into using High Jump Kick. So I'll be, if I decide to use High Jump Kick, I'll use Drain Punch alongside it. That way I can use Drain Punch to at least scout to see if he has I jump kick. Uh, there's not a lot of point to running Ice Punch in this matchup outside of Salamence. That's a pretty good reason to run Ice Punch, actually. Dodrio, with a Scarf, that could be pretty annoying. Choice Band and Dodrio can hit actually really hard. So Ice Punch is definitely worth considering. I'm afraid of, run of wasting a move slot here with Fake Out. Uh, Weavile, of course, can get Inner Focus, and he just has two Pokemon that resist normal type moves, and then the other Pokemon getting hit by Fake Out doesn't really bother them. I guess the extra damage would be good, but I'll have to really think about that. 
Um, as far as Reuniquist goes, just having Calm Mind, Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, and Recover does wonders here. It allows me to have kind of a, I would guess, a, not really a check because if Slowbro gets Calm Minds up, that's going to be a problem, but kind of a secondary check to Slowbro. And with max HP, max defense, I can take a hit from Weavile. Granted, if I'm running Shadow Ball and Psy Shock, I don't really have a way to hit it back. So I'm going to have to think about, do I want to really win that or not? Because if Weavile switches in after I KO something with Reuniclus, of course, he can use Pursuit and trap me in there. So that is something I will have to really consider. Uh, another Pokemon that I really actually like in this matchup is, of course, Talonflame. He has... Mm, looking at his team here. He has two resistances to flying. And one of those is a very frail resistance in Heliolisk. Heatran can take on Talonflame pretty easily, and Heatran even gets Ancient Power to hit me back. So I, I'm not too keen on getting hit by an Ancient Power, per se. But uh, yeah, it would be interesting just to see what Talonflame can do to this team. Now Talonflame alongside Tyranitar means that Talonflame is more likely to get whittled down a little quicker. And so I'd probably run the more especially defensive bulk up set here. Just because that way I could set up on Heatran, because Ancient Power only does barely, I think, 50%. And then of course I could roost as he uses it again. Um, and and a funny shenanigan that I was actually talking about where Pruitt is to run natural gift on Talonflame with the coverage berry that I need, and then instead of using Brave Bird, use acrobatics. Uh, the loss in power is noticeable, but I just don't like whittling my own HP down that quickly when he has this mini Pokemon that Talonflame can kind of take advantage of. And so if I did get the, the dream setup where I get to use Natural Gift with the right berry, knock out the Heatran, then I lose my item and now I can use Acrobatics and I don't take that much damage from Weavile's knockoff, that's amazing. Now whether or not I can actually end up in that situation, that's something altogether different. Uh, so, so far we have Mega Lopunny, Tyranitar, and Talonflame as basic locks. Um, definitely looking at Reuniclus, so that's four. For the fifth and slick six slots, I know I'm not using Noivern or my uh, Toxic Croak most likely. So that means that Lee Vanny actually might not be a terrible idea here. So my opponent actually has seven Pokemon that resist bug type moves, so it's going to be a waste of time to try to run bug type moves. Uh, I think the only things, yeah, he only has two things weak to bug types and those two things that are weak to bug types really don't feel the fear the bug type moves coming from Lee Vanny because we can hit him with a nice shard or just outspeed him and hit him with a nice punch or an icicle crash. And then Mega Slowbro doesn't care about X Scissor. I think X Scissor from a Weva, uh, from a Lee Vanny, from my Lee Vanny, will probably do 40, maybe 30% to it. So not really worth the time. High chance of getting burned. Uh, what I would like to run on my Lee Vanny though is Sticky Web. Sticky Web makes Weavile much more manageable and relegates it, kind of forcing it to use Ice Shard a lot more often, which means he's gonna miss out on some KOs. Um, outside of Sticky Web, Heliolisk, actually I would like to slow that down too. Uh, if I slow down Heatran in case he's running a weird Scarf set or trying to take advantage of how Heatran can operate underneath um, Scarf or Tailwind conditions from Salamence or Dodrio, that would be useful as well. Uh, he does have some slower Pokemon that will work well with Aromatisse as far as using a Trick Room between Aromatisse, Heatran, Mega Slowbro, and to a lesser extent, Fortress. I don't see him using Trick Room because he just has other really fast Pokemon that can really put the hurt on, but it's definitely not out of the question. Uh, Trick Room actually makes more sense for my team because I have several Pokemon that get priority and they can utilize the Trick Room or the priority. So. I do, I really like Lee Vanny for this matchup. Fun fact, Lee Vanny can basically, he has a really good, I think it's at least a 40 or 30% chance of one hit KOing Mega Slowbro with the fully invested uh, Leaf Storm. So that is kind of amazing. I will need to breed another Lee Vanny because the one I have right now is just naive. It's kind of the suicide lead set. But yeah, Lee Vanny can take on Mega Slowbro and that's pretty cool. I didn't expect him to be able to. Even if my, even if the Norris Giddy fully invests in special defense on Slowbro, or do the, I think the usual investment is about 176 invested in special defense, it still does 80 to 85%. That's not even taking into account Stealth Rock. 
so Lee Vanny is a very nice secondary check to Mega Slowbro setting up in my face too. And of course, I can't rely on crits on anything, because number one, they're crits, you never know when they're going to happen, and number two, Mega Slowbro cannot be crit anyway, so I definitely would need to hit it before we start setting up, or at the very least have ways to force him out. Uh, Roar on Tyranitar um, might be a weird option to consider, for example. Uh, I do have one team slot left here. I can use Stoutland alongside Tyranitar for some wonderful sweeping ap action. I feel like he might see that coming and bring Hitmonchan with Mach Punch. Uh, furthermore, after the, the sand goes down, Stoutland is kind of dead weight against his team. He has a couple things that resist normal type attacks. And then my coverage options against these Pokemon in particular aren't that great. Stoutland's really going to shine when he either gets that retaliate hit off or if your opponent doesn't have a lot of things to resist normal types, because my coverage options here, Crunch, Wild Charge, Play Rough, the Elemental Fangs, not going to be great. Uh, yeah, so I don't think Stalin is the one for this battle. Kabutops actually might be a better choice. He'll allow me to spin away the rocks if we get into a rapid spin battle with Fortress. I can also knock off some of his items with Kabutops, and that would also give me the a secondary form of priority with Aqua Jet, which would be a nice, um, un kind of a, that's not even a second check, that's like a fifth check to Weavile. If I can force him to going in for Ice Shard, Ice Shard won't do very much to Gabutops between this nice natural base defense and resisting ice. And if he tries to go for a knockoff or a pursuit, then at that point, then I get to hit him with the Aqua Jet. That's gonna do a decent chunk of damage. So that's not bad at all. I like that idea. Uh, Kabutops might be worth considering here. I do like the spinning support as well, if I'm going to be using Talonflame. Uh, I do need to watch out for Heliolisk much more so if I use Kabutops, because if I'm using Water Time Moose, you can easily switch it in and get the Dry Skin ability going, just like I would do with my Toxicroak. But I think that his Heliolisk is going to be the Dry Skin user of choice in this battle. Uh, he does have several Pokemon weak to Rock, so Rocks will. I need to get those up as soon as possible. Um, I can use Lee Vanny to magic bounce those back if he tries to set them up. Alternatively, I can just set them up with my own Kabutops or my Tyranitar, which is pretty nice. Uh, I, I, Floor just isn't a terrible Pokemon to bring to this matchup. He does have three Pokemon weak to Fairy, but he also has three Pokemon that resist Fairy. Uh, Floor just can't do much of anything at all to Heatran. And same thing kind of goes for Fortress. Weezing Floor just can at least hit it with Psy Shock, which won't do that much damage because of Weezing's nice base defense, but I can at least hit it for something. Uh, so I don't see Floor just being a good Pokemon to bring in this particular matchup because it's really only good against his Salamence, and even Salamence can run coverage options to hit Floor just, so I don't want to. I really am going to miss the free Wish and Aromatherapy support in this battle, but I don't think that Forges is the best matchup here. So right now, tentatively, it looks like we're looking at Mega Lopunny, running probably Drain Punch or something that's a little less risky than utilizing uh, High Jump Kick all the time, just because that's horribly predictable. Tyranitar, I have no idea what his set's going to be. He's going to be a nice utility Pokemon that I'm going to be using to kind of fill some holes, uh, both on the offensive and the defensive side. Talonflame, probably going to be using the bulk up set. Special defense that allows me to set up on a couple of his Pokemon here. And once Heatran goes down, Talonflame kind of runs train on this team some, so that'll definitely be something to keep in the back. Reuniclus, who once Weavile goes down, Reuniclus actually gets solid neutral coverage on all of his Pokemon. Uh, it should be relatively easy to set up a Calm Mine or two after Weavile goes down, and it'll be my secondary check for the Mega Slowbro if he manages to get set up a little bit. Uh, Lee Vandy running the Leaf Storm attack is going to be fantastic for checking the Slowbro. I can also put up Sticky Web to slow down Weavile, Heatran, Aromatis, and Heliolisk. Those are the faster Pokemon that I'm a little bit more worried about. Hitmonchan gets slowed down, but he also gets a bunch of priority options. Uh, and then finally Kabutops, maybe setting up Stealth Rocks but more so for the ability to spin and keep Lee Vanny and Talonflame out of trouble with entry hazards and having that nice secondary priority after Talonflame's Gale Wings 
Um, I can use Aqua Jet, of course, to pick off a couple of things, or at the very least take advantage of his nice typing to hit some of his Pokemon super effectively. So that's the team tentatively. We're gonna go into this and we're going to hit this with as much power as we can to really open up this season with a bang for the Eternity Enders. So guys, wish the Eternity Enders luck and we will have our first battle versus the Norwich Skitty Up this weekend. Have a great day guys, and I'll talk to you next time.